both both of the um yeah. because uh, unlike me hold on you're even, like not able to use any of this video because Nick keeps dancing over there inside Nick Nick that's enough dance to... really didn't taste why do you gotta get out of um, I'm sure if you went Where's to the ice cream Shh. Nick you gotta stay quiet Nick okay um yes yeah, so there's a dog um <clears throat> Wednesday, is he not sharing with you? He's not sharing with you, is he? Oh He's a meanie poo poo pants. Yes, he is. Oh, no, he dropped it. There we go. Okay. Welcome to Omnis Eat Vegan. My name's John. Nick. Neil. I'm Jessica. Today, we're going to be trying two kinds of jackfruit. jackfruit. Thank you, Nicholas. We've got. Uh, the Upton barbecue jackfruit, and we've got the Jackfruit Company the jack barbecue. Fruit. Yeah, barbecue jackfruit. Um, I think we're gonna start with uh, the, that thing. We'll start with the Upton jackfruit since it's close to Jessica. Jessica, would you open the jackfruit for us, please? So there's a lot of talk about barbecue jackfruit um, right now in uh, the vegan community. Um, the, a lot of people are using this as a pork replacer, like a barbecue pork, which is why it's it's a barbecue flavor. Um, you can eat this right from the package, which both of the products say that you can eat it right from the package. You can also heat it up. You can eat it various different ways. Um, we're going to, today. We're going to just uh, open up the package and taste it just as it is. Uh, we might use it, heat it up later, but for this taste test purpose, we're going to eat it right from the package cold. Dang, so I've... right now, it just, just it smells like barbecue uh, sauce, yeah. actually. Yeah, it does smell like barbecue. So it, it smells, smells really barbecue. good. Um, but this is actually a fruit called yeah. the jackfruit. Um, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with it, go out and, and, and look it up online. Well, it tastes like chicken, by the way. You feel it tastes more like chicken than pork? Yeah. Right. What do you uh? So uh, I would create a six. You're gonna say it's a six. So now why a six? Um, I knew I would agree with Neil. To Neil eat hasn't it said it. Neil, oh, you agree with Neil eating it up? It's yeah. a bit you know, I did little say spicy, right? You can say call it spicy. Yeah. It calls it. It's a bit spicy, right? Yeah, it's a bit spicy. So, Dad, what do you get out of that? Oh, um, I, I mean, it definitely has a meaty texture. Uh, I think if you heated it up, mixed it with some, you know, beans or put it over rice, heated it up and heated it up. Um, I, I think it's a very good um, meat. I, was, I agree with Nikki. I mean, I think you could say it's a, not just a barbecue, pork replacer. It tastes like a little like barbecue chicken. Uh, I mean, I definitely feel that uh, the most important part here is the barbecue sauce. And Upton did a really good job with their barbecue sauce. I think it tastes very well. Okay. Oh, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Okay. Um, I, I think the texture is a little bit off for a barbecue pork. A, a pork or a chicken is going to be... Um, a stiffer flavor or stiffer texture than this is. This is a softer texture than a, a pork or a chicken. Now, if, if you have a really well cooked chicken or pork that makes it really soft, then it's probably comparable. But this is a little bit mushier than than pork or chicken, in my opinion. Okay. Um, the barbecue sauce is a little tangy, and that's where most of your flavors coming from. The actual jackfruit itself didn't really have a strong taste to it. Uh, most of it, the flavor came from the barbecue sauce. I'm sure if you went to the grocery store and cut up and bought a jackfruit uh, fresh and cut it up, you'd, you'd have a flavor. Uh, but for this, all I'm really tasting is barbecue sauce. So compared to like a barbecue pork that you would just put like a, a pulled pork sandwich with barbecue sauce, I think you could, this is definitely comparable. I think I would give it like a seven or eight as well. I think you could throw this in a bun and, and uh, give it out at a, at a barbecue. Yeah. I think I think it's definitely comparable. The Why texture, the texture's a little bit off, but other than that, I think it, it's a really good flavor to it. Neil, yeah. Neil, what do you think? I enjoyed it. Uh, 
<clears throat> I enjoyed it. Um, it tastes like barbecue. It, it doesn't really derive from anything else. It tastes like regular barbecue pulled pork. I, I, I liked it. I'd eat it hot more than cold. It just doesn't taste. His full power has not, his full potential has not been un unlocked, let's say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I give it a yeah, I agree. Give it a six out of ten. Six out of ten. Six okay. out of ten. Me. And potentially hot, the scores on this could go up. I mean, even though the package says you could make it cold, I, I agree with you, Neil. I think making it hot would make it that much better. Okay. And finally, on. the Jackfruit Company. Yeah, the barbecue jackfruit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we only have two of these today because that's all we could find. We actually found the the Jackfruit Company in our local Wegmans grocery store. And the Uptons we ordered off, off the internet. So um, we didn't have a lot of variety available here. Um, we're going to check out the produce section, see if we can find a jackfruit. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to. Uh, but we're going to give it a try and see if we can figure uh, find one find one here. Mm. Huh. Not bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start. Um, that literally just tastes like tomato sauce. It literally just tastes like a tomato and tomato sauce to me. Honestly, I'd rather put that in a good, nice spaghetti and just mix that in with it. And honestly, that it would taste no different in my opinion. It's just a very tomato, heavily just chunks of tomato um, pot. Oh. Spaghetti. I like. I really enjoyed it. Actually, I enjoy it more than the Uptons, even though it doesn't really taste like it's supposed to taste. Uh, I'll give it higher. So I'll go seven out of ten, seven out of ten. And okay. I wouldn't eat this in a sandwich. I'd eat this on pasta, actually. Okay, anyway. that's a don't choke. Okay, mine. Okay, Nick, go ahead. I would definitely agree with the taste of tomato and pasta sauce. Well, I kind of almost agree with you about it. Well, I'm going to give it a 10. Oh, no, 9. A 9? 9 or 10. 9 or a 10? Both. Okay. You like it a lot, huh? Yeah. You'd eat it again? Yeah. I'm just going to eat the whole thing. Oh, you were going to eat the whole thing? You did seem to eat yours very quickly. Um, guys, I... Uh, I like the Upton uh, spicy barbecue stuff a lot better. Uh, to me, I agree with uh, Neil and Nick, Nick regarding the tomato. It, it is it, but on the front of the package, it does say tomato based yes. blend. Uh, I read that. So. I will tell you that definitely, I agree with Neil that his taste buds are right on. Uh, it is tomato based and it would make a very good it would mix I think very well with a, with a traditional marinara sauce yeah over pasta or even over rice what's your score? Uh, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 6 I like the other one better um I taste the pineapple it's not even when I took like a bite of this now I, um, I had a, a center pot almost, so if, if you ever look at a jackfruit and you see it cut open, it's got um, different a different texture to it than any other fruit that I've ever seen. It does have like a, a center pod in portions of it, um, and that's the bite that I got, which is why I took a couple of bites of this. Um, and that center piece tastes very pineapple-y as far as texture goes and, and the sweetness too. Now this has... The, like said, like John said, it's it's a tomato based blend with with sweet and tangy, uh, with savory mesquite. So it does have a sweetness to the to the uh, sauce. Um, I did not like this as much. I agree with you. I, I it's definitely a to heavy tomato flavor. Okay. The texture on this is very different than the Uptons. The Uptons was very uh, mushy, almost uh, very very soft. This one has more of a meaty texture. It actually does say on there meaty texture. On the package, but this does actually have a meaty texture, more meaty texture to it than the Uptons did. Um, 
it, it's definitely something you can bite into it and you have something to bite into. It doesn't just sort of melt in your mouth like the Uptons did. Um, I, I agree with everybody else's assessment. It's not really something you'd put in a sandwich. It's not quite the same. It's not barbecue. It's really a tomato based. I know although barbecue sauces can be tomato based, this is much more heavily flavored towards tomato than, than the Uptons is. Um, overall, it's not bad. Um, I, I agree. I think you'd throw in some tomato sauce. Uh, I don't know that I would serve it as, as a barbecue sandwich, so um, it's not bad. I, I agree with you. I'd give it maybe a 6 or a 7 out of 10. Okay, but just one more thing. Yeah. Can you just look up online and look on, just, what, just look on jackfruit stuff? Yeah, we, we can look up jackfruit then. Okay. So, Nick, which would you eat tomorrow? Which would you buy again? I'm definitely going to choose that. Oh, you're choosing the... The it's Jackfruit good. Company. Yeah. Uh, I, I would definitely. I I agree with you. Uh, I would buy. Actually, I would buy both of these again. I think they're both uh, really good. Mm -hmm. Meat. Yeah. You how do you feel? I like both of them. <clears throat> I like both of them. But which one you had to get? They both have their own purposes. Hey. Okay. No. Yeah. I both again I, I honestly think they both taste better warm um, even though they say you can serve them cold I personally would like them better if they were warm um, but yeah overall I'd, I'd eat them both again I don't think they're bad um, yeah like this video if you've never heard of jackfruit look them up in your grocery store um, like I said the well, uptons, we, we bought them we bought it online uh, uh, the jackfruit company what brand came uh, from Wegmans um, we found that in the section of the grocery store that has the vegan or vegetarian food in it. So uh, take a look there if your grocery store has that. Um, but yeah, we definitely recommend giving this a try again uh, if, if you haven't yet. Um, so, if you like this episode... Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Thumbs up! <laughs> Cameron. And yeah, comments. Yeah, yeah, we like the comments. Give me some comments if you have any uh, okay. other uh, uh, the, 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 the food you'd just like us to try. Or uh, the recipes. Oh, that's a word. Anyway, you want to say goodbye? Alright, so Bye. until next time, thanks for watching Honestly Vegan. Vegan. See you later. See ya. Hey, y'all.